What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy Cable on Never Care, chilling out, Max now, doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now, in today's video, you know I do reviews on this channel, animation videos and such. Go check them out if you haven't already. All right. Now, basically, we're going to be talking about The Flash, and we're going to be talking about Season 2, Episode 19. And actually, not just 19. We're going to be talking about 20 to 21, however many episodes it takes. Basically, we're going to be talking about what are the only ways Barry's actually going to get his uh, speed force back? Now, if you haven't already seen episode 19 and episode 18 of season 2, then you already are not pissed off as the rest of the Flash fans are. Basically, spoiler alert, Barry gave his speed to Zoom to save Wally. My thing is, Zoom gave back Wally, and uh, Joe took Wally some, like, somewhere. They were all in that lab nobody tried to jump zoom he just freely gave away his speed like it pissed me off and then we waited like three weeks for it too so you know it really left like a little hole you know in the area of joy that i had in life you know it really makes me want to go punch something but anyway now what are the ways he can get his speed back now harrison wells in episode 19 did talk spoilers spoiler did talk about he was going to create another particle accelerator explosion you know, to simulate Barry getting his speed back. Now, Barry got struck by bleeding lightning. So, one, they got to have the storm cloud over there. They have to have the mixture for the lightning. Now, it's really impossible to detect when lightning is going to strike. Like, it's really nearly impossible. So, I don't know how they're going to get that. Maybe, you know, they have Pie Piper as a friend now. He can make some type of electrical thing to simulate a mini explosion because let's be honest they really do not want to create another batch of metahumans i mean this was talked about in a review about jesse quick which is a superhero i actually didn't know about she um basically got the speed force and she was helping with the flash and everything i really don't know too much into our story though like literally i never even heard of this chick but harrison's daughter her actor was talking about it in a review now another way some way oh man some way some way they get um you remember the little mechanical thing that harrison wells had that he put in barry's suit it will he put well he didn't put it in the suit he put it on that little magnetic thing and then locked it on if they can some way get that on zoom then they can get the speed force from him that way that's a way they can do it because create another particle accelerator explosion would really be catastrophic let's be honest they already then effed up they got too many metahumans already that screwed up now they want to bring in a whole new batch now like i said it could be controlled and you know jesse got caught in it some way and she became fast i mean it would make sense they were trying to give barry his speed back you know it worked uh, i'm just gonna say it worked because let's be honest here you know, it won't be the Flash without Barry, you know, being the Flash. So, he's going to get it back eventually. But, I just want to see how the whole process is going to be laid out. How they're going to do this. Because, you know, the whole two episodes of 18 and 19 were utterly pathetic. I love the Flash, but I have to be honest. It was utterly pathetic. Flash giving his speed. Then 19, he didn't have the speed at all. He was basically like, I don't know. He was basically like some wannabe scooby-doo detective agency except without scooby and barry didn't even use the damn gun i think cisco no cisco and joe didn't, i think joe like shot one shot off i think do not hold me to that i don't i i'm trying to remember did any of them use those guns and they were going against one super strong metahuman and my thing is you know it's really sad that they had to even go that whole route. They could have played the episode to where, literally, they could have just done this, and it would have made a lot more sense. They could have structured it to where, after the exchange with Wally and Zoom, Barry and everybody attacks the guy. Some way, he gets a little bit of Barry's speed and manages to bail. They could have structured it like that some way. And then he would become a threat because now he's talking about coming to Earth-1 to just terrorize it. Because now he literally can do whatever the fuck he wants to. Literally. He's now eight times... Well, he's um, two times faster than he already was. He's eight times faster than Barry was when he first met Zoom. And he's two times faster than Zoom initially was. So, the guy's basically overpowered as hell now. 
I'm pretty sure even Supergirl will have her issues trying to take this fool down. Now, another thing, too. Oh, my God. This is going to get me. Um, you remember that one guy, the guy with the electrical... I forgot his name. He had the electrical ability. He stole a flash of speed once before. I think they could possibly make a weapon to where they could probably sneak up on Zoom or trap him some way, hit him with that weapon, and it drains Zoom speed the same way it does Barry, and then they can get the speed that way. Because I'm not really seeing a whole lot of good options here. Like, Barry's, like, I'm not going to say Barry's an idiot, you know, it's all right and such, I know it's just a show, but the whole character, how everything uh, transpired, it was completely kind of lazy, I'll be honest, it was really lazy. It didn't seem like, you know, it was worth the three weeks of waiting to have Barry Speed taken in that fashion. And now to have this whole proceeding, now Barry's going to have no speed for episode 20, possibly 21. And who knows? It could be 22, he could get his speed back. I don't know. Because one, they have to make, um, like Will said, they are going to try to make another Parco Solar Explosion. That means they gotta rework everything with that particle accelerator. That means they have to get it to be controlled. That means they gotta have they got to have some way to deal with Zoom because now Zoom's actually coming over to Earth One to terrorize. So are they gonna do damage control? Are they gonna hide? I don't know. Zoom already knows who they are. Zoom already knows how to get in there. So it's gonna be a whole big process. It might take multiple episodes. I mean, it's not like. Barry can really call in anybody for help. I mean, DC Legends of Tomorrow, they got all the good characters from Arrow. When I say the good, I mean the super powered ones. I'm going to be real here. Now, they, Hawkgirl, she, well, Hawkgirl never, well, she only appeared one episode, so I'm not going to include her. My bad. Ray Palmer is gone. You know, let's be honest, he was the strongest one on Arrow. I don't care what nobody said. His weapon tree could outbeat any of them. The reason why Oliver beat him in that one episode was sheer bullshit. Let's be honest. That was directive writing. That's the only reason he beat him in that episode. He th Basically, the way Oliver beat Ray, he threw it at his um, electronic cup thing. And that was because Ray landed and was just sitting there talking to him. I'm like, are you serious? And then he threw it at him. Boop. He shut him down. So he would have actually won that if it wasn't for, once again, just BS directive writing. But anyway, now here's another point. He can't call in Oliver and them because they have to deal with, well, you know, the whole tragedy that happened to them. I'm not trying to ruin it for everybody. You can go watch the newest episode on CW or go check it out on your um, local TV provider. But anyway, I'm not seeing any way this episode, like the future ones, and like I said, I'm talking about episode 20 to 21 and possibly 22. I'm talking about these. These are like the general three episodes that this could possibly happen. Now, I also gonna, I'm also going to make a video about the man in the iron mask. I have a theory about who that is. You guys can stay tuned for that later. Also, a side note, we all know who Wally West is. Now, my thing is, you know, uh, Wally West originally was a Caucasian character, and now he's a um, black character. I mean, I'm African-American. My thing is, they should really stick with the races on there. Like, keep it original. You know, if it was like a, um, you know, a Chinese Wolverine or a black Wolverine, it wouldn't really be right because it wouldn't have the same feel. They should have kept with that. But anyway, now my whole thing with this too, could Wally West get caught up in this too? Could we get two new speedsters out of this whole new explosion? Because remember how Wally West got his powers was a recreation of Barry Allen's, you know, well, Barry Allen basically really got his speed through an experiment. It wasn't through really a particle accelerator and everything. It was through an experiment and it went wrong. Now, with this, he could possibly get speed from that. And then, like I said, um, Harrison Wells' daughter's actor was talking about she wanted to play Jesse Quick. And she really is um, psyched about that being introduced into the universe. So, it could have been detailed about her actually to play that in the future. Now, we're also going to be um, talking about two new species being brought onto the team. Wally West, Jess, it's going to be awesome. You know, Jess came back to um, Harrison after all. I'm really going to look forward to these next three episodes because these are going to be the key to how the show's going to be going from here on. 
All right, y'all. Thanks again for watching. This has been Cable Line Network here. Put in the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Peace out and talk to you later.